Hello my peers, this is Foss Talks, certainly for being an American for your parents who didn't love you. And today we're talking about emotional memory. That's right, it's going to be one more uh, Theatrical Thursday where we're talking about the kind of tips and tricks that you can follow as an actor, or if you're a director, what you can kind of teach to your actors. Okay, so what emotional memory is. It is an event that brings up an emotion. For instance, if you have a painful memory, it's going to bring up pain. It's going to bring up sadness or anger or all this stuff. And that emotion that you get from that memory is emotional memory. And in the context of acting, it's what we use to give our characters more depth um, through our acting. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a quick monologue for you guys here, and I'm going to implement emotional memory, then I'm going to talk about some of the positives and negatives. Okay, so... Here we go. I was raised on the Bible, Miss Layman. My dad is a preacher, and his daddy before, and his granddad right on down the line. Boy comes to be about 17 or 18, there's no question to ask. Hand him a Bible, turn him loose on the world, he'll make his way just fine. Be an awful fine preacher. Be just like his daddy, I guess. My daddy. Now there was a preacher. He had folks up on their feet and out of their seats and stomping and singing and life was just fine. Man took to the Bible like he was just there to shout it. Gotta tell everybody, gotta tell everybody about the wonder and the miracle of the sweet love of Jesus. He'd say, now you there, Miss Layman, don't you love that sweet Jesus? Don't you just love him so much you could cry? Well, sure you do. I said, sure you do. I said, come on up front here and tell us all about it. Tell the whole church how you love that sweet story. Bring them all up to the front. Let them all tell the story. No sin's a great sin, for all men are sinners. That's right, I said all men, all men are sinners. All right. So that was without any emotional memory whatsoever. Um, now this can be interpretive. Like for me, I kind of had a falling out with the church and so I'm actually going to bring that up in my mind as I'm going through, which is gonna help me remember a couple things. It's gonna help me remember, um, you know, how, how the sort of church can be all gospel-y and apocalypse and you know, just like uh, Episcopalian, I guess is the word I was looking for. That's not right, but you know, really, really, up in your face here and praise Jesus you know all that good stuff and at the same time how it could be kind of frightening um, to think about the uh, eternal damnation and all that and we're gonna we're gonna bring all of that in here and it's gonna be entirely from my own memories and so recall your memories in your monologues here we go all right I was raised on the Bible Miss Layman my dad is a preacher and his dad before and his granddad right down down the line. Boy gets to be about 17 or 18 and there's no questions asked. Hand him a Bible, turn him loose on the world. He'll make his way fine. Be an awful fine preacher. Kinda like his daddy, I guess. My daddy. Now there was a preacher. He had folks up on their feet and out of their seats and stomping and singing and life was just fine. Man took to the Bible like he was just there to shout it. Gotta tell everybody, gotta tell everybody about the sweet love and the miracle of Jesus. He'd say you there, Miss Layman, yes you. Don't you just love that sweet Jesus? Don't you just love him so much you could cry? Well, sure you do. I said sure you do. Why don't you come on up and tell us all about it? Get them all up on that front and let them tell that sweet story. And no sin is a great sin because all men are sinners. That's right. I said all men. Every last man is a sinner. me. Okay, so that's the kind of stuff that you can do with emotional memory. You can bring it, it to the forward of your acting. You can bring it forward um, when you're bringing life to a character. It's all about what they're feeling and trying to feel it yourself as best you can. Some of the drawbacks on this is it's going to be very taxing on the actor. Um, I actually hated doing this show, The Diviners. Um, even though it was a really good show, and it was because every day and every night of the performance of the rehearsals, I had to call up all this pain and anguish that I had gone through, and it was therapeutic, I'm not gonna lie, it was therapeutic to go through all that, but at the same time, it's very taxing, it's a lot of hard work, but it's gonna put you at the best of your possible acting, which is 
I, I think it's worth it. I don't know. You might think differently. Anyway, uh, like if you like, leave us a comment, say hi down below, and uh, share with your friends if you liked this, or if you have some acting buddies who might get a kick out of it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, or our improv videos coming up. Have a great night and a great life.